So, <laughs> my my face is actually obscuring part of the title. Welcome to Dot Hack GU Last Recode. All of them. So I should be listening. Um, a buffalo of North Korea five eight seven of North Korea is eating your soul. Okay, I'm listening. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have. Apparently, my chat knows this better than I do because I don't know. The only thing I know about the Dot Hack series is that think Sword Art Online concept, but done better. I'd say I see. I like cold tea and coffee. I suspect it's just being fair. What's this? This is as much as I can tell you. I don't know anything. Uh, play the original dot hack, but not you. I see it's just uh, cheese straight colors, no sugar, etc. Yeah, so that's better than you know, the way Americans do it. It's a massive fan of dot hack games. Ah, right. Let's just change that to dot hack gu. Last recode. Want this to work? Let's see. Uh, dot hack. Okay, this is this is interesting. Oh, there we are. Dot hack GU Volume One Rebirth. Right, I'm just going to take that and copy that into there. And it sounds a lot louder than it was. So I'm just going to... There we are. And now I'll put the volume on. Yeah, now we're all good. Well, this work again. The original, but I couldn't get used as a child. Ah, uh, I've... I have never seen it. Uh, then, then when barking the doors closed, my inside is a lot better. A foot and a half of snow outside. I remember the dot hack anime that aired on early morning TV while I was still at school. Love the OST. I have got no idea. It's a good bite shit. Um, the inside has seen true. Go secure it. Has this come out? What? It's yeah, it's supposed to let you know the mod change the game. Although, actually, what you can do, um, Zero, is I think I gave you editor permissions. If I gave you editor permissions, then you should be able to go via mod view and change the description and the um, category. So not doing commands. I've got them right now. Okay. Grant, I can't use on Brett's stream because for some reason only Mika can use it. I think that's probably because only Mika has got editor um, permissions. Only last week, inside, apparently. No, apparently not. It's just, you know, .hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. I think the last recode thing is basically the compilation name, as in all together. So what Google told me is the first dot hack game was 2002. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, I'll take these hydrations now. Let's see how many. How many are we doing? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hydrations. So thank you in order, please, from Zira, Nikos, Lydia, DJ, Mock, and Vaughn. game. What else am I going to do? Uh, now you get to um, find out how to dive 600 meters underwater without drowning. Oh yeah, it's just popped up. I don't know why.
just popped up at the end of this there. Cheat mode. Recommend for those who play Dot Hack Geo or those who only want to enjoy the story. Nah, this is the game normally. We can use oxygen tanks. Or become fish. Prepare for anime overload, I'm guessing. Does not show the option. Well, there's no um, little pencil next to the um, name of the uh, of the title, basically. They show me a submarine, it's huge. I haven't seen your submarine, but I have seen your underwater base, Lydia. Just an thing. Ah! Then I haven't given you editor permissions. That would be why. I will uh, set that up after stream and make sure that you have editor permissions. After stream, give mods editor permissions. Yeah. So what you'll be able to do with editor permissions, basically you'll be able to change the title, uh, you can change the category, and you can also use commands that only I can use normally. Um, like, oh, uh, like you, you can actually start raids for me. Um, it's kind of powerful. Ooh, so, let's have a look at this. Oh, that's a very nice sub. It's only Dot Hack GU last week codes on Steam, not on GOG. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. I can tell this is from 2002. I can really tell this is from 2002. Oh. Oh. Hello PS2 graphics. Hello PS2 graphics. God. Oh, this is cool. It's voice acted at least. Hey. Hey you. You the adept rogue. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> hey, who's in toot? So, Which was on PS2? Yeah. Your first time playing this game. Oh my word. Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. <laughs> it's a bit meta. <laughs> well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. That's why I imagine the appearance of those um, girls' faces with lantern sure faces. Like oh well yeah. Acquainted as soon as possible. <laughs> just say yes. So the grass and dragons zest. Yeah, us. that's true. Yeah. I promise you won't regret it. Triangular heads. <clears throat> yep. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Back in the times when everyone in games were like this, their hands, that, that's all their hands could do. It's like, ah, oh, yes, I have individual fingers, honest. Uh, welcome back in, uh, that's where I'm guessing Wednesday. Where are you, sure? No problem, Milk. Member Here's addresses Asta. are short email addresses that you can only so use in the sim world. <laughs> Sims hands. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages. And your sim speak as well. Online in the world. What the fuck is that thing in the you background? Can only people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. My boss is weekend right. curse. If you can't so work weekday curse. They could have specified, you know, not putting the prompt up there during the cutscene, because I was pressing it a few times. Select party. This is a list of all the people who have Here's a one. member address. They decided to stop the, um, and leave off the speaking, so jarring it is. Choose on into this list and then press X. And I sense a member. That's what I remember. Yes. Okay, let's have some fun. Quest menu, which is serious, is better. <laughs> okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged in. That's smart. This game, though, a game about playing a game with mini games in it. Enough with the formalities. 
Should we go on to your first adventure? There's a clear noob to the right there. What the fuck is that? Head to the save shop before going on an adventure. Talk to the save shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save your progress in the game. Oh, this is a noob. Are you a noob? Hello, nice to meet you. The thing I love about online games is games to meet all sorts of people. It's my training secret. You can trade up to site for fire so you know for the same for them. The other bonus item is that five items you like to trade, select the item with the curse spread. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. Nova. Nice to meet you. Are you going on an adventure now? That anime running! Oh, what? <laughs> well, I found my fun. Uh, is that what the kid between Vivi and Queena would look like? Oh, God, I didn't want to imagine that. Oh, I did not want to imagine that sort of Rule 34. Ugh. Ugh. You all know you're in the Naruto running right. <laughs> You saved Ava. Am I playing on the PlayStation 4? I couldn't tell. <laughs> First cry. Okay. Talk. Save your game data here. Come here when you reach important points in your adventure. Okay. I was almost done. Ask my pressure to complete and use the Chaos Skate to go on the adventure. Oh, the staggered run! <laughs> oh my word! I'm always getting ganked. Hello there, are you a noob? These days there have been PKs who only go after noobs, so be on your guard. Well, I'm not a PK or a noob, honest. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. It's always jarring what is and isn't voice acting in these games. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. PK, a player killer. Yep. Uh, this was 2010. It, um, then wasn't it before? No, you fucking you read Naruto and Shonen Jump and freaking Baby Teen. 2010, we were already out of school. Ah. <sighs> Graphics make me slightly nostalgic. Yeah. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos gate. What happens if I use the words piss off Asta? <laughs> these words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. Alright, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. Is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Yes, comes from just... Ah, it'd be nice to store in NPCs. <laughs> Never. Also, the fact that Black was made on this generation. Yes! Such a good game. Oh, and there, there's best behaviour. Well, there's no lewd references or swearing for the next ten minutes. Thank you, Vaughn. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. I only have one selection. Choose courageous from your stock. My stock of courageous, you mean? Once in your area, just right to your current level, items you acquire will be just right. Engaging and daydream. Okay. Now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. 
If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. So is this how Twitch links are um, made? Is this exactly the same system that you use to make the Twitch links for clips? Whoever decides this meaning he's battling with a newspaper. I agree. Initiate error warp. Yes. Friendship worst game. Oh, I'm pretty sure it goes south anytime, anytime soon. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. I honestly thought she was going to say, "Open your mouth." I was like, "I'm sorry, what? No." So, kiss on adventure. Your know, breast touch. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the area map. Very dungeon crawly. Use this screen to check your position, mission That's info, it. and any other information you may need. Mission is go ahead and press X. This is our mission. Click the symbol fragments to grab this area. Currently in possession on all sides three. Okay. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. When they struggle to um, explain the word mission, you know something's gone wrong. I guess the barbecue people just go south. It looks like ah. this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or fight. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I guess that from the fact that you know it says there were three of them, and there's also on the right it says altar. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. What was my other option? Now, this is the icon for the beast temple, which is our final destination. A game tutorial. This is a game game tutorial. I know, right? Okay, now that we've confirmed where our mission is, let's be on our way. This is so weird. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Use this transporter to return to town after completing the area's mission. It also has a. It's also got a healing function called Platform Rest, which you can use once in the area. Use it when you're low on HP and SP. Okay, okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. I'm sure whether the Beast Temple is or the just press the map. I know, you already told me this. <laughs> this tutorial needs like a training video made by a corporation for its employees. It really does. That's... Nice! We found an altar already. What is with this tutorial? Fragile doesn't fit the sight thing. Okay. Your life is all Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. Was this game, I know. It's five and seven. Yeah, how was it? Spectacular, Red. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually. This has gone really quite loud, even though I've got the, the music turned down. The only way to escape from the battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. <laughs> Hold an instant release when a judge full charge attacks effective against enemies of the garden. Yeah, keep it up. Also, it's a 2006 looking game. This is Dot Hack. And it's from 2002. Just continue fighting like that. I 
Oh, sorry, so you played any of the Trial Secret Man remakes? Not the remakes, no. Originals, yes. So, the chest on top of the house will contain simple fragments need to open the beast temple. Remember, search the transvarious arts of each of the altars. Get three simple fragments by opening all the treasure chests on the altars. Simple fragments need to open the temple gates. Search the treasure chest on top of the altar. You're telling me that I can't adjust the volume. I'll just, you know, reduce the volume for you guys. 2010 hack dot hack game. I mean, it's you know, it's a compilation game of the PS2 games. Right, the first single frame. Head to the next altar to the east. Check the map for directions. I don't need to check the map. I can see it. The mini map is actually quite good. Although, <laughs> you guys can't see the um, the mini map because Trans Dragon's in the way. All right, we found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. It's a great game. Seems all right so far. Those noises. Skills are powerful stats to acquire SP. Skill points to perform. Press triangle to open the main menu and set skills to open skill. You can't tell me this menu doesn't look better. Let's have a look. Yeah, that menu does look a lot better. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Lydia. To trigger the shortcut for performing skills, press R to open the skill trigger menu. You mean my one art? Now try it out by using the art. Scale blade. It's the only one I have. Alright. Perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks. Or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Oh, it's totally ever. I see enemies just standing there while you get led by hand. Yeah. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Yes, Rengeki. That thing that everyone knows about. Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increase of amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, to use a skill attack when an enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring. It appears when the is inflicted with damage. That enemy is surrounded by blue and purple rings. I mean, you should know this by now, Mock, that your PC is not going to be able to do a huge amount of modern gaming. Favorite action is triggered when Regeki is used or other connecting conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. This your favorite action may vary with the party member. Oh, let's 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 take the training wheels off. Oh, they named me! They actually named me for last. I lost. When Geki was a simple press button to attack, why have a complicated mechanic? Trick A, which above a player's head when the skill trick is used. It's not possible to use item or skills until the gauge fills up and R1 appears. Oh, so it's like ATP basically. This new button's not smooth, I swear. Lane Woodgrim for your contribution to the Bring Back um, Challenge. And fuckity ball sacks! <laughs> Best baby is over. Ha ha ha. That's point somehow. Yes. 3GP. I know, you've already told me this! Well, the second Super Fragments, I know. <laughs> okay, the, the tutorial's getting a little bit too hand holdy now. Just a little bit. I don't remember what you're telling us. I told you to cry the answer inside the church chest. I know. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so I can't... Oh, there we go. That's how we change. Oh, and if I spend too long in... Um, in that. Have uh, Christ, I know I keep comparing it to doing the intro, but one fight now on the story. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Some friends decide to shine. Some friends join together. Judge a symbol. It's not even go over and open the door with it. It's just your know, door yeah. opens now. Awesome job. All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I do not have a memory of a goldfish. I can remember where it is. Okay, even if the PS2's draw distance is not quite good enough to show it. Oh, the poppins. There's so many poppins here, you think Mary's going to come down with an umbrella floating. I want to see... You're not going to tell me about how to use the, the rest mechanic thing. Okay, fine. Screw me then. This point. Nope. No way to access um, sound options in here either. Whoa. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> you can't see the map. <laughs> no, you lot can't. I can. <laughs> this is a statue of full I'd say there's no really other, any other way for um, the dragon there to um, we just sit. Call it the beast statue. But I think in the game story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the beast statue. <laughs> There's Proof that even in this, that. people don't ra read the main story quests. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. Sure. Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Wow! Game crashed. Sky armor. Noob. Thanks. Huh? What the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> oh, player killers. I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's there really we go. Quite have fun. fun. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Go for it, Woodrun. Thanks for coming in. As long as you, uh, as long as you did, I'll like see you later. You. Oh, betrayal. Who's the cool light like coming? To play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... This is my reward! That's a nice big sword. Graceful. Noobs. <laughs> okay, so it's a natural chainsword. Crotch. <laughs> but, uh, crotch. <laughs> nice try, dear. Need that sword. I quite like that sword as well. Well, I'm dead. How pathetic. <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend. Fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? 
Dude, you like level 10, seems like level 2. What the fuck's the point of that? Yep. Oh, he's dead. Good one shot monster that dungeon. Yep. I <laughs> received until then. <laughs> Welcome back, Tora. <laughs> oh, he's just got cannon on his arm. Wait, we've got Barrett in this game now. <laughs> oh, he even had the anime le um, lens flare on his glasses. What the hell? Good awakening. I'm getting Auron vibes. Same. Yeah, it's very much got some Auron in him. Oh my. Welcome to the world. His voice actor even sounds like Auron. Well. I think what I'm going to have to do, just for the sake of sanity and, you know, variety, I will split this game, you know, the whole last Rico thing, into its individual games. Eight months later. <laughs> Not months, month. Eight months later. What was that noise? <laughs> the noises in this are a little on the odd side. Ah, title card. What an idiot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> Please give me that. Please. What? Stephen Blum. Holy shit. Okay, so I play a killer killer. Nice. Hello, <laughs> Scoo, and welcome. My brain, like real life people do this um, by saying people should play this game and be a hate community. What? My brain trying to do stuff. Sakaki by Crispin Freeman. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Not the sight out of my face. Here, have a fireball in the face. <laughs> okay, so we've got quite a lot of good voice sound from this. Just watch all the Doc Hack Legend as well last week. Now that's a chainsaw. Okay, Crispy Freeman. Crispin! <laughs> I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! It's a nice scratchy plate. Did a bit, sorry about that. I've, I've reduced the volume. I've reduced the volume and it's still doing that. Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. 
Those old the lens flare tales. on this. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? <laughs> Reduce the volume a bit more. Yeah, I think I can. <clears throat> I kind of like him. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. <laughs> You're the PKK, Haseo. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is any the of this? Kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not Look at my pectorals! And it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki. And I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name There's that voice. <laughs> Peter Death, did PCs have smell <laughs> vision in their world? <laughs> Apparently! Taking games so seriously. I know. Why so serious? Yes. You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> Shino. Huh? Atali. She yes. Do you know this person? Uh, no. Atali. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. I mean, true. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey, well, then that's going to be the um. Just... That's the stream title. She no. Text she text. yes. Delta hidden, forbidden waterfall, waiting at RK Kelm. Mm hmm. But who sent it's a big it? It's a forehead. Ovan. <laughs> Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Not so cross as anyone. Thank you to all for your our best behaviour. Jameson Price voice is over. And that's me. It's all looking up at the moment. Jameson Price sounds very, very, very uh, familiar. But also, you know, Crispin Freeman. For waking you up. It's been a long time. Lisa didn't wake you up with slaps to the face. You the terror of death. You've gotten quite strong, <laughs> a lot stronger than you were back then. Hey, Joe, will be throwing you left, right, and center, much like anyone saw the MMOs, pretty you, much. You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable. She's she still sitting down. <laughs> when the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. 
It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That Not saying a word to that. To raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. Ovan is saying he made you what you are. Why can't you? We all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, she knows. Paseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now. Triage, so you know three edges? He must be an edge lord. Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? He's Reeve! Yes. But that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triad, I'll be always reading the in the movie, Evan Children. Ah, uh, you may also such learn it. more about a lot of what edge. really happened that day. It's storytelling. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triad, oh, yeah, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today at the scene <sighs> of the crime. Please. The scene of the crime. You mean Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Grand's Cathedral. <laughs> yes, finally. I'll get my chance. I swear wow. I'll bring Shino back. I'll do it, Ovan. Yes. Yep, you, you know that place? I, oh. <laughs> we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> His face. Ovan? I'll meet you at the holy ground. There are some things I must do. <laughs> that sound effect. This is definitely a JRPG. The length of the tutorial and the intro to this, definitely a JRPG. He will be back today at the scene of the crime. <laughs> He's got something quad edge. <laughs> the only thing that can beat Tri Edge is quad edge. It's now highest and zeros on these fronts. Yep, that's a good thing at least. See a dad oh dad joke followed by an unjoke. What is the chair say to the desk? I can see your drawers. Pirate goes into a bar um, with a steering wheel down his trousers. Bum says, Do you got steering wheel down his trousers? Pirate looks down and says, Ah! Yeah, I do. Thank you very much for pointing that out. I will remove that. The Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII Reeve, um, right. God Hand, Elvis Angra, Metro Last Light. He's always oh, Miller. Always oh, Miller in the Metro games. And he's the commander in Monster Hunter World. Who knows? Maybe she just lost her interest. Does that? Lost hope for this world. Does that mean who I th he is who I think he is? I lost some more blades than those ones. Zero. Look on that list. See if in Dynasty Warriors he's Lu Bu. I think that's Lu Bu from Dynasty Warriors. The Kamara Wide didn't pick it up. He's got such a tinted voice, hasn't he? It's that, you know, if it's the commander I'm thinking that I'm thinking of, you're meaning. It's that's Lu Bu. <gasps> oh yeah, we weren't kidding about Edge Lords here, apparently. Try edge. He's a real Edge Lord. Kite. <laughs> this is so anime! <laughs> Melissa. Oh, I'm thinking of a different person then. <laughs> K 
Kaisha's the protag from the Mitchell Games, the good guy. What happened? All that's missing is a slow edge walk. So just so you know, I've got this set down to about half volume on OBS. And the in-game volume is down to four. And it is still blowing my ears out. What the hell? What the hell are you? PvP always sucks. It does. Can't stand PvP. This guy killed Shino. It's not over yet. I always love games where in the cutscene you're amazing and nearly unstoppable, but then you play <laughs> and die from a two foot drop. Yeah, pretty much. I think this is, you know, the way of like, you're the amazing overpowered main character and now bye bye all your abilities. Someone's blowing back out on my ears, you know. Hmm. And shatter. And there goes all my gear and all my skills. Do you care about sports from Richard Game or should I shut up? No, I'm, I don't mind. I don't mind at all, Lydia. I was playing Ark and Dive from a small jump. Kill from it's the same jump and lives. <laughs> Just need to evolve better ankle bones, clearly. Reboot complete. Huh? What the? <laughs> I was fighting Tri Edge. But then... I'll put a long story short. Hasayo got data drained. Makes sense. Continuing process. Damn it, I can't remember. System reformatting complete. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Emails. Also, she thought she was fine. She gave you a parachute for next time. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. He's like, he's still like, someone data train you. Oh, scoo. I thought you were say so. Valheim is one that shows you how weak you are. Death by tree. Yeah. My email's gone. What the hell? I would never delete these. All... It's almost as if you got hacked. I got from Shino. Since I'm an agrifier, fear of what a stranger one fine day. How the spark forced around him. Didn't have much to sell. No one dared to ask his business. No one dared to make a slip. For a stranger there among them, he had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Horseshoes, precious. We're talking about horseshoes. And fuck diddy bonky bits. That's behaviour's over. <laughs> Individual kite um, goes into the world, or probably Kite actually, goes into the world to find um, the one who has data drained his best friend and was in a coma. Delete your browsing history. Protocol R34 engaged. Delete all the porn. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell 
is going on? I have a, oh I have a new email. Fox nap time. Email. Go for it, Scoob. Have yourself a nice nap and I'll see you later. How many does it take to delete it? Just one. There is new mail. There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. It's a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It is a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt. The latter path is tortuous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you've chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then there will come a time when you and I will meet once again in the world. When the time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. So Jameson Price did Bleach, Pokemon, Akira 1988, and Sword Art Online of the Ordinal Scale. So one Sword Online is to a better Sword Online. Ha! Ah. Whether or not I should quit the world? So in other words. You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then Dot Hack is a game that's PTP. I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what. So what happens if I just you know, just try to exit now? What happens if I give up now? <laughs> it actually did it! <laughs> Pay to play. Or you may notice the executive order 66 from Star Wars referred to executive order 96 by FDI in America. Maybe. Touch your mind and body if you can um, give up on this peacefully. At the very least, this is nearly mu muting the entire game. But apparently, this is what I need because you're know, at four. It was deafening. Let's go back in. I just got a little check mark above it. Continue. Of course, because I didn't save, did I? I just, I just was also um, typing up for what I'm calling this um, stream series. Player killing has really gotten out of hand. Well. Oh, that's <laughs> Round of applause. You gotta get a die off in the corner now. Can't join you. I can barely hear it now. I am pressing the X button as much as fast as I can. I can barely hear anything now in the game. I've got to go through that entire tutorial all over again. I should have gone to the data management. It's really quiet. I think the music is loud. That might have been the issue. Hmm. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Oh, I can skip cutscenes at least. This is the area map. Just stop ganking now. Like I have to go through the entire door again. You're dying again now.
so you don't know um, how to do anything else other than this game. Can we mock you? Yes. You do a great sound of what we do the fight noises. <clears throat> awesome. Despite everything being quiet, the sound effects are still really loud. PS2 era sound mixing, it's kind of bad. Was the game when was it released? Um, Dots Hack Volume One Rebirth, released 2002. Because I say you are um, the author of what you have done transcends communities. It's not that bad. I quit out because you know, the game said you. Oh, you could just you know turn around and you know, say no. So I thought, ah, well, secret ending. Nope, just send me back to the menu screen I hadn't saved. So that fits in to me in some time cutscenes. Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. I love how they're actually giving me items. As if they're not going to be SEO be taking it all away from me after this anyway. Yeah. He says one, two, and three are two thousand two. I'm surprised for all three of the volume all three of those volumes to be two thousand two. The thing is like this game features like volume one, two, three, and four, then the terminal disc, and then parody mode. I have no idea how much of that is actual content, apart from you. Know, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4 are obviously actual content games, but Terminal Disc and Parody Mode? I don't know. I'm presuming Terminal Disc is, yes, the fifth game, but Parody Mode just sounds like, oh well, it's just silly. I don't know. Dry Gear. That was Sky Armor last time. Ho ho ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So many cutscenes to skip. Oh, I can't skip this bit, though. Oh. Very much sounds like it'll be dodgy. Look like the extra carriers, probably. Right. Save. Progress being saved.
Can't play Horizon Zero Dawn, so my laptop is blown, might need to refund it. Also, not when I still have backlog games and such. Hopefully they will refund it to you, because I know that Steam is really bad about refunds. Really bad. And yes, I'm going to the title screen, because I really want to change those um, sound settings. Like, well, that's the only thing that I had trouble with hearing, was the voice. Everything else, hmm. Yeah. Hopefully I'll do. So yeah. See, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, clearly all different games. Terminal Disc, no idea. Parody Mode, also no idea. Let's have a look. This mode may contain spoilers, are you sure you want to proceed? This, mo this movie is not dot hack for you last code canon and any resemblance to the original is purely coincidental. Right. So that's got nothing to do with the game itself. Uh maybe say it's bugged and unplayable rather than your computer being blown. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I'm still quite not quite sure what this is. So far, we find why it seems decent to me. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, you know, that Steam has a bit of an iffy history with blind refunds, especially seeing as you know you have to actually agree to you know forfeit your rights to normal um, refund rights. Which is stupid and really, really, really sneaky of Steam. Really sneaky. So, you know, you actually have the right as a consumer to um, ha get a refund on anything within a certain amount of time of you purchasing it, regardless of whether you played it or not. Um, and Steam basically make you sign an agreement that says, yeah, you waive that. Right, so, I'm guessing let's just go in. to load the files. Oh, a visual sight. The world is an MMORPG, enjoyed by many players worldwide. Gain fame as a top-class venture, become a member of the Colosseum, take part in questing, explore the world, just for that to the scenery. More money to enjoy the world, more than one part take. You two become the rest of the world and live the life you desire. I don't care. I'm not going to read all that. I'm just going to log in. Hi. What's going on? Why is my equipment different? It got deleted, you idiot. Jesus. What the? Uh, I'm back at level one? Yes. What about my items? My member list? Uh, talk about policies of play Skull, Soul Squadron. It says any game capture belongs to them and they can use it when and how they want without permission. Policy is getting crazy now. Yep. <laughs> you can thank EA for that. Gone. It's all gone. My whole character EA is some of the worst things to happen to modern gaming. Bethesda's the other amount. Yes, because there's only going to be one guy in the entire game with a weird arm. <laughs> weird arm. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> love it. Um, yeah, after Battlefield 3 or 4, it started to go power crazy. before Battlefield 4. And it wasn't though. EA used to be a really competent and decent game developer. 
It used to be good. Yeah, it used to be good. It used to be a really good game developer. They actually used to, you know, have a lot of good business sense and good business ethics. I don't think I didn't look that closely. I saw him head towards the harbor. Maybe I'll go get a closer look. <laughs> Main Clan and Conquer. Yeah, Western Studio. That's Western Studios, but still. Like I said, they used to be really good um, game developers. So loot boxes and pay to win. Once they became big, they got money hungry. Exactly. That's been the downfall. And the fact you know, that it was such a massive um, presence in the industry anyway, it meant they can do pretty much what they like. So they chose the path of greed. Good arguable. Mock, no offense, but you don't seem to like you know what you're talking about. So you like guys a like, like really, that. you're you're just taking modern prejudice against EA, which is yo uh, that prejudice is fully fine, and you're pasting it over everything they've done beforehand, which is not fair because they did used to do really good things. They were what they were one of the premium um, um, game developers out there. EA made The Sims. Yep, they made um, stuff like The Sims. They made. Um, like pretty much almost the entire um, back catalogue of the SNES and the uh, Mega Drive, a huge chunk of that was EA, Electronic Arts. Nia, yeah, hello and welcome. Sounds good, yeah, you missed it. Oh, uh, you missed me basically having to do the tutorial twice. EA Sports the name, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's also, yeah. That's just you know, re-releasing the same game over and over again. When they're so pathetically weak. Battlefield 942 yeah. hired the models for Battlefield Vietnam and Vietnam Battlefield 2. Fighting yeah. Those noobs is making us all rusty. That yeah, when loot boxes and you know, that kind of um, side come in, then EA side really going, getting greedy. That's yeah, nice, they're not EA. Yeah. Mock, you are now There's seeming to be purposely no ignoring the fact where we're you know, listing other games and things that EA has done well just to support your point of you know, EA is bad. And has always been bad. When they haven't always been bad. They're bad now, yes. But they used to be good um, games makers. Why do I have to hide from bastards like them? It's like a game in a game. So when your character dies, it offers you to rejoin, log out, map, chose, log out, see what happens, and didn't save. Yeah. It returns me to the um, the beginning of the game save point. After like you know, nearly half an hour of cutscenes and stuff. You're kidding. What the hell's going on? Be being, you know, being uninformed is no bad thing, Mock, but the thing is you're you're taking your current um, level of information and applying it to everything related, which is not oh it's not it's not the way you need to do it. You need to actually look at things in the past. Hey, are you a new player? Yeah, you know, having having a, having a grudge against EA, completely fine. And it's understandable and justified, because EA are absolute scum now. But they did used to be a massive industry giant, and, you know, deservedly. Ubisoft used to be great, so not so much now. Yeah, on a, on a lesser scale than EA, but yes, Ubisoft used to do some good games, but now... Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew I'd heard about him somewhere before. Can't forgive them for killing off Visceral and Westwood. Sure the name yeah, and I can't, I can't give, um, forgive um, Are you sure? uh, Bethesda for nearly bankrupting, bankrupting um, Obsidian. Hey, look. Difference is, not, pretty me. much nothing Bethesda has made apart I'm from Wet has been any good. It's shown back games. I've got no idea. Oh, it's fine. Yippa. <laughs> look at him. Look at Yippa. Look how soft and fluffy he is. I'm look sorry, at him. Isn't he cute? Isn't he so cute? There you go. There's your affirmation for Kepper. If you're a noob, we'll be happy to teach you the basics of this game. Uh, Obsidian is sexy. They are. Obsidian are incredibly good developers. Part of the noob support guild called. Your Sims 4 have uh, has over 700 hours in it. Yep. Support guild. They do know how to make you know, stuff like um, the Sims you know, stay um, current and um, relevant. Famous, you know. Oh yeah, I need to give you our member addresses first. Here. It's just, you know, they're a bit money-grabbing with, you know, the amount of DLC that's released and the price of it. Member addresses are an address system. Oh, yeah. just for it's just a syllabus. Fuck off, Kipper! Yeet! I even lost sight of Ovan. 
Anyway, right now, I've got to level back up to become the terror of death. Uh, my mom doesn't seem to fall, but we figured out how much she spent is over a thousand pounds. I'll just hang out with them for yep. a little while longer. Sims 4 plus all the DLC for it at full price is a lot of money. That's why whenever whenever Callie gets things for The Sims 4, she gets them in bundle deals or on sale. She almost never pays full price for that stuff. It's become irrelevant. Nice. Yeah. You're gonna teach me the basics, right? So hurry up and let's move on to the next Because lesson. basically there's a lot of DLC for The Sims 4. Okay, there's a huge amount of it. Now, invite us into your party and we'll go find the Chaos Gate. This guy is entirely too happy. He's entirely too happy. Just we need to keep it. Oh look, a warp point. Oh, okay, so I didn't actually need to invite them to my party, it did it automatically. Cool. Well, considering the time, I think it's a good point, you know, because this is based on a save point system that I need to go and basically save and quit now. Uh, if I'm him, I'll say, no, I'm him, I've just been hacked. <laughs> I'll try playing Dragon Nets, and yeah, the Europe servers can't be used for that one, it's not me. Yeah, Europe servers are just completely shut down. Ah, uh, typos happen. Right. This is the chaos gate. If you input three different types of words into... I know that. Okay, well then, a good area for a noob is... Uh, see if you can't see Gets on Sea in uh, North Delta America. Delta Peaceful yep. Leading Freedom. That should be a good place to start. Peaceful Leading Freedom. I see so, so much I ignore the fact that EA games feel much harder. They're horrendous these days, like they're improving at the moment. They're not. They're not improving at the moment, but they used to be good. Let's see if I guess now. Let's switch this off. Let's It's not letting me exit the game. It's actually not letting me exit the game. So you know what I say to that? Yeet! <laughs> uh, oh my god, so I've seen more from EA. Yeah, I've... I grew up with EA. I grew up with EA like on the Mega Drive and the SNES. There's so many good games over there. So many. Back when, you know, back before, you know, Back before they were EA, back when they were called Electronic Arts. Really miss that. Really miss those days. You know, James like weird, weird platformers like James Pond. Oh god, I want to have to get, I want to have games for my um, youth again. Those were silly, absolutely silly, but still good. Oh yeah, we went really it's a Harry Potter Quidditch game. Oh yeah, they'll do they'll do they'll do uh, movie tie-ins. For no um for no reason now, you know, just get cash from it. But let's play the game, we need an account, to get an account, we need to go to their size and such, so it's only a VPN for that, right? I'm just um No, you should be able to um be fine for that. I should be able to just you know select a different server. It's like you know, like me, I, I play WoW on um, American servers. Don't need a VPN. Just say select it, select to log into that. Um if you join North America I see your best, I've captured you Medal of Honor, yeah, the the original Medal of Honor. Ooh. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, went to the outside and what it had. Um, I saw the titles on the Vader collection on the scene. That's quite possible, actually, yeah. Awesome downloads of the scene. Uh, yeah, games, movie tie ins are surprisingly decent. Disagree. The only, the only movie tie in games that I've played that are actually any decent are the Lego ones. And that's the old Lego ones before they spoke. Because the speech, the speech in uh, the voice acting in Lego games ruined it for me. I first went for the X3 file and replaced on the side. I found more truck is refusing it. All the readings returned to the kingdoms from EA. I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan of it. 25% done with? Yes. Still, 
that's where I'm going to be ending it um, today, mostly because I don't know when the next save point is going to be coming up, and it's getting close to the end anyway. Um, man's falling in the river like a city. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you everyone for coming along to this. It's been fun. Um, we finished Final Fantasy VII Remake, which was absolutely phenomenal. The ending of it was absolutely astounding. Um, so this game, who's your day on Steam? I would rather not. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, and then we started this game. This game, right? Nah, it's not. It's not. Ten, it's not even ten minutes. And DJ, it's thirteen minutes. To the normal stream ending um, time, but I'm going to be ending early anyway. So. <sighs> but yeah, that was. It was a lot of fun. It's been quite a lot of fun today. Um, next stream is going to be tonight at 1am GMT, where I'm going to be continuing with Pathologic 2. Like a... <laughs> Thank you, Red, for your contribution to the Bring Back um, Challenge. Have a great day. Yep, have a great day, everyone. Um... That's rather late. You should barely come here, I guess. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Um... Uh... Yeah, until next until ne um, tonight's stream. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, a good evening, a good afternoon, a good morning, a good day, or even a good night. Whatever the time is for you. Until next time, stay safe. See you later. Bye bye.